Hello everyone, this is Luis05 and welcome to the Cobra Command Central Toy Review. And today's toy review, we're looking at the 2009 release by Mattel of the DC Universe Action Figure Review. And today's Action Figure Review, we're looking at wave number 9, figure number 2 of Deadshot. And it comes with the Collect and Connect piece, the right arm of Campbell. Notice the schematic there. Nah? Now, I got them this straight from A269 as a gift sent in conjunction with the main prize that I won from his 100 subscriber video. Thank you so much for sending this figure to me because this is a very awesome gift. I really love that shot. He's my favorite character in the Suicide Squad, the Village United, and the Secret Six comics. Really one of my favorite characters. Now, let's take a look at the front part of the packaging. On the top part here is stated DC Universe. And the entire listing here, you will notice the entire figure is being displayed very well. You can see everything. There's no hindrance of stickers there or cardboard here. You can see everything from the figure. Bottom part here, hiding clumsily underneath the figure and behind the card itself is the right arm of camel. You notice the green part plastic there. Now, at the back of the packaging, I would say that if you collect all seven figures, you will get to build the camel figure. So, number one, we have Wildcat, it comes with an upper torso. Number two is Deadshot, that comes with a right arm. Number three would be Guardian, that comes with a right leg. Number four would be Black Adam, that comes with a left leg. Number five would be Mantis, that comes with a left arm. Number six would be Black Canary, comes with a lower torso. And number seven, we've got Green Arrow, that comes with a figure stand. To build this humongous green giant monster really nice. Now, at the bottom, you have this tiny little artwork of that shot. At the bottom, his biography. To escape the memories of a family altercation that left his father paralyzed and his brother dead, Floyd Lawton moved to Gotham City where he began his career as a criminal. In the process, he trained himself to become a highly skilled marksman and adopted the name Deadshot. During one of his many stays in prison, Lawton was offered amnesty for past offenses if he would accept a potentially fatal mission on behalf of the U.S. government as a member of the Suicide Squad. Since then, Lawton has worked both on his own as a criminal and occasionally as a member of the squad. Very nice. Now at the bottom is this statistics that shows his appearance in the comics. So, that's about it. Let's open up this packaging so we can molest the toy. Be right back. And we're back of the room in the figure and rest of stuff off from packaging. Now let's take a look at the right arm of Camel here. Now Camel here, the scalp is absolutely very gorgeous. On the top part of the arm itself is a clear translucent plastic, which is in green. And you get to see the bubbles inside there, very nicely done. I really love the little details. You get to see the joints, the bubbles, and the upper bicep here is actually painted on. Very nice, very nicely sculpted. Lower arm here is also very nicely sculpted with the silver bolts there. And you have this tubing to connect to the body of camel. Very nice. Not much of articulation. The shoulder can actually go up and down. Elbow here, turn 360 degrees. And bend this far. Not much. The wrist here, turns 360 degrees. And that's about it. There's no finger articulation. But it's very nicely done. I really like this. Hmm. Maybe I should collect the rest of the figures to make my camel. Now, let's take a look at that shot. That shot's paint job is absolutely gorgeous. Though, I would prefer the red to be more brighter, because in the comics, well, he tends to dress up in a very bright colors because, you know, he has suicidal tendencies. He wants people to notice him and to kill him. But of course, he kills them first. Very nice colors. The head and the lower hips here is actually painted in a very dull white but in this portion here the neck portion to the upper chest portion and the waist itself and the wrist is all painted in silver so that's this metallic parts here on the boots yellow boots and yellow glove actually not painted it's pure plastic there and the upper bicep is also painted in gold and the chest here is nicely painted with the yellow lines and a black cross air with grey background. Now the paint job on the eyes itself, the right eye, you've got the silver targeting cross air with the red background and the black cross air lines. Yeah, very nicely done. Very small detail paint jobs they put on this 
all the stripes, all the black lines are painted. Except for the top part, not too sure why. They paint the bottom part, they don't bother to paint the top part. Hmm, not too sure why though. Now, you notice the scalp is also absolutely very gorgeous indeed. The head is so very nicely done with the cross air. And then the chest, all nicely sculpted. And the upper bicep, the armbands, is actually bullets. Very nice. Doesn't look like bullets, but it's actually bullets in the comics. The wrist guns, the infamous wrist guns, is also very nicely sculpted with the small little pistol with a barrel there and a laser sighting. Very nicely done. Really love this lower part of the sculpt, but the boots itself, you got this really big boots. So the entire sculpt doesn't look like well a, a typical DC Universe male figure, but more so has a lot of sculpt on the body itself, which is very very good stuff. Belt is very simplistic, but that that's how it is. Now on the side of his ties here, you must be wondering what the hell is this? This is actually a gun barrel. More specifically, a very small mini gun barrel. He uses this to attach to his gun wrist. However, this is too small. Check this picture out. You'll notice he attached his gun wrist with a submachine gun and then attached with the barrel, the minigun barrel, onto the submachine gun and starts spraying. Of course, that runs out of bullets way faster than usual. Yep. Very nicely done. Now, let's take a look at the articulation of the figure itself. Now, the head actually turns 360 degrees and can't pivot the head upwards nor downwards not much of difference just a tiny teensy little bit now the torso here can actually bend forward and backwards and turn 360 degrees it's a bit loose now they show this here turn 360 degrees and go all the way up like so the upper bicep turn 360 degrees like so elbow here and you can hear this breathe tight and bend this far wrist here turn 360 degrees this enclosed fist there's no open fist that's how that shot likes to roll now the hip joint here forward legs backwards side very nice the lower thigh here actually has a swivel thigh that turns 360 degrees and the knee joint that bends this far ankle joint that bends all the way this direction and upwards and that's about it the articulation is well the atypical DC universe articulation but Deadshot is actually rather very impressive looking figure one of my favorite one of my favorite compared to Vigilante those two figures are my favorite with Deadshot on the line I have two gun blazing well psychopaths well, if you want to call Vigilante as a psychopath it did had a mental breakdown and then killed himself but that's another story that shot is absolutely gorgeous and if I want to give a rating for that shot here he is not perfect granted he's not perfect the red is a bit flat I rather has the red more brighter okay I would I would prefer that the scope of the ammo on the upper bicep a bit more well nicer but it's still all right it's still nice um, a little bit picky here but it's still all right i wish the hands and the boots there is actually painted and not just yellow plastic but overall very nicely done figure i really love this i thank i 69 for sending this to for me so if i'm gonna give a rating on this this is nine out of ten this app he doesn't have any accessory at all well, that's how that shot is. I, I really wish they do give an accessory of the barrel for you to attach it on the wrist gun. It would be really awesome. But the figure is very good. Very good indeed. 9 out of 10 for that shot. So I thank you all for watching. This is Lucy05 and I'm signing off.